It can be really frustrating trying to find the ideal web hosting for your online project because there are thousands of them. So with a quick Google search, you will soon find out that these are the top 20. Now, even out of those 20, how do you decide which one is the best for you? Well, don't worry, because today I'm going to make your life much easier by narrowing it down to just three options. And these are the main three hosting providers that we use within our web agency for all our web projects. So today we are going to compare one at $2.99 per month, one at $20 per month, and finally one that starts at $44 right up to $500 per month. So what are the differences? What are the best suited for? And most importantly, which one should you choose? Okay, well, let's find out. Okay, so our first option is Hostinger. So Hostinger, as you can see, $2.99 per month. This is by far the cheapest option available on the market, especially for the type of quality that they provide. They are absolutely outstanding. The quality is very, very good, especially considering the price. So what do you get for $2.99 per month? Well, you can host up to 100 websites on their server and you have up to 100 gig of SSD storage space, which is quite a lot uh, for $2.99. You also get free weekly backups, so you don't have to worry about that. This is run automatically. So every Monday, let's say, they're gonna start running the backup of all the websites on your server. So if anything happens, you can always roll back to a previous version of your website. So bear in mind, this is only once a week, it's not daily. So obviously at that price, you cannot afford to run a backup every day, but that's basically it here with, for that price. You also get 24 seven customer support. So in respect to this, uh, this is true. You will get support, uh, no problem whatsoever, but you might have to wait a long time. You know, uh, we are personally using their cloud hosting here, which is the premium version. And we are registered as a business with them, which means that we get premium support. And even with a premium support, we have waited up to 10 to 15 minutes before they got back to us. So I don't know if you take this hosting plan here at $2.99, how long it's gonna take for them to get back to you? Maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, I don't know. But usually if you have an issue with your website, you want it resolved immediately. So that's the only downside I can find with hosting at that price point anyways, you know? Now you get the first domain name registration for free. If they say free domain is true, but it's only the first one and you get free SSL with it. And obviously you can host uh, your email and obviously you can install WordPress or use their own website builder. So this is all built in for $2.99 per month. So it's not too shabby to be honest, you know? So let's consider our second option. So this is WPX.net. So as you can see here, they've been voted the fastest WordPress hosting and not uh, by anyone, it's by independent testing. So this has been uh, uh, done by third party uh, people that actually tested all the features here. And if you want to read the report, you have to, all you have to do is basically click on this link here, okay? So if you scroll down, as you can see, uh, they received a, a few awards as well. So best WordPress hosting support, top tier WordPress hosting and best SEO hosting. And this is by Matthew Woodward and Kevin Ohashi and Matt Diggity. So these are uh, well-known people in the industry, obviously, you know, and these are the reports, the good reports that they, they, they gave and, 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 and awards as well, okay? So as you can see, this one here, I want to emphasize that especially, so best WordPress hosting support, and this is the case. So let me just move myself here for a second, and they claim that it will get back to you within 60 seconds or less than a minute, okay? So what I'm going to do, basically, I'm going to bring the countdown timer here, and I'm going to ask them a question, okay? So let's open this. I'm going to open the support here. David, I'm just going to put hello at mrweb.tv, okay? And let's start the chat. So I'm going to type my message here, ask the question, and let's start the countdown timer. And let's see how long this is going to take. So they reckon normally 60 seconds, they should get back to you. So we are at 10 seconds now. As you can see, that's been read already. So they read the message. So let's see now, boom. So how, how's that like? They're already typing, you see? So that has been 20 seconds, 20 seconds all together. And we're gonna get our reply now. Obviously it takes a bit of time to reply. So there you go guys, we got our reply. So the question I was asking is which plan should I choose if I want to host WordPress, WooCommerce and get 1000 visitors a day? So the answer was very quickly provided to me. As you can see within 40 seconds, he typed all of this. 
and basically all of our plants should certainly be able to handle this amount of visitors so absolutely fantastic and as you will agree here this is not just uh, showing off this is actually true wpx service is spectacular so let's consider the price now let me close this so let's click on this and as you can see it starts at 20 dollars per month so what do you get for that price we basically can host up to five different websites and you get 15 gigs of storage space so you're going to wonder, yeah, but look, uh, this is only five websites, 15 gig, and for $2.99, I get 100 websites and 100 gig of storage. So what's the difference between the two? The big difference is that WPX.net is a managed hosting. So that means that they will look after you. They will look after everything. So all the updates, uh, the server updates, and everything that's got to do with security and backup and storage and all that will be updated and taken care of for you. As you can see, they will also offer free fixes if your site is offline. So this is the most important one. If your website goes down, you need to have it fixed immediately. And as you've seen with the support team, they get back to you within 30 seconds average. That's what they reckon, okay? They offer free site speed optimization. And also, if you are moving to their uh, hosting, they will also move and migrate all your website and emails uh, within 24 hours and all of that for free. So all of this is included in the package. So if you want something similar to Hostinger, but the next one up, which is completely hassle-free, this is the best option for you. Now, another advantage of WPX is that they offer a CDN. Well, it's actually called an XDN because this is their own solution. So what is a CDN? Well, CDN is a content delivery network. So that means that you have different data centers worldwide and wherever your visitors are coming from, they will access your website from the nearest data center, which means faster performance for your website, higher conversion and all of that, okay? And they don't call it a CDN, so content delivery network, but an XDN and why is that? Well, as you can see here, unlike more CDNs, our XDN was custom built from the ground up by us. So they're hosting it themselves, you know, specifically for high performance WordPress hosting. So this is basically it. So if you want a very fast website for you and your visitors, well, this is definitely the right choice. OK, so our third option is leaseweb.com. So leaseweb, they only do dedicated servers. So what exactly is a dedicated server? Well, let me show you this with an image. So this is a typical data center, you know, you have all these rows of servers being next to each other. And if you look at it from the front, this is basically what it looks like. So this is one server. This is another server. This is another server. So these are rack servers mounted on top of each other. And as you can see, there's thousands of them in a data center. So this is what servers look like. This is a rack server, like I said, you know. So if you were to contract your hosting with hosting at $2.99 per month, you are basically sharing this server here with maybe 400 different users, which means that you, the capacity and all the resources are also shared among those 400 users. Whereas if you go with LeaseWeb, the whole server is just for you. So you're not sharing with anyone. So the whole CPU, the RAM and the disk space, you're using the whole entirety of the server just for yourself. So clearly when it comes to performances, this is the fastest options out of the three. So when it comes to pricing, as you can see, they have all these different locations, you know, Netherlands, Germany, UK, Singapore, United States and so on and so on. And you can select different cities as well. So probably the nearest to you. So as you can see, it starts at $44 right up to maybe 500 uh, if you were to go for United States and San Francisco, you know. So what do you get for that price? As you can see, for $44, you can get a CPU that has a four core, a 3.2 gigahertz, 16 gig of RAM and one terabyte of hard disk space. And obviously, the more you spend, the more powerful the server will be. You know, you can go from four cores right up to 24 cores and from 16 gig right up to 128 gig of RAM. So as you can see, performance wise, it's not going to let you down, you know. So what is the downside of using a dedicated server? Because if you think of it, $44 is not expensive for the whole server to yourself. Well, the downside is it is not managed at all. You have to look after everything yourself. So that means setting up the server, patching it up for security, installing all the required softwares. Now, having said that, 
This requires probably cPanel as well, which is an additional $24.99 per month if you wanted to use that feature, obviously, you know. So all together, it's a nice feature, but like I said, it is not managed and you need hosting knowledge and skills how to set up a server from scratch, obviously, you know. And also, if anything happens, there is no one there to help you. If you want to run backups, you have to do that yourself or at least set that up in the cPanel as well. And again, all of this requires a certain level of knowledge and experience as well to do that smoothly and successfully. So now considering the price, this is not a bad option. Obviously at $44, you get the whole server to yourself. But again, like I said, you need proper knowledge and experience to take advantage of this offer. Okay, so let's have a quick recap. So let's compare them side by side, okay? So the price for hosting her, well, that's clearly the cheapest. It was $2.99, so tick mark for them. WPX20 as well, so tick mark for them. Least web, unfortunately, they're the most expensive. Reliability, we would agree they're all fully reliable, offering a 99.9 .9 uptime support uh, with wpx that's the one that was outstandingly good with 20 seconds reply we're gonna give a tick mark to hosting as well because they offer 24 7 unfortunately lease web does not offer any support team at all are these managed uh, this one isn't this one is and this one is not so do they offer backups uh, yes uh, they offer backups so this one is weekly and WPX, this one is daily. So I'm just gonna put W here and a D here, okay? Just for the confirmation. And Lease Web offers backup, but only if you buy cPanel, which is an additional $24.99. So I'm just gonna put $24.99 here if you buy cPanel, okay? So domain name, hosting offers a domain name registration, WPX as well, and Lease Web does not. SSL certificate, like they all do, yes, yes, and yes. And then free migration, uh, no, yes for WPX, and no for lease web. So how many accounts can you host? It was 100 here, five on this one here for WPX, and here is basically unlimited, so I'm just going to put NUL, okay, unlimited, there you go. So disk space, it was 100 gig, it's 15 gig, and here was one terabyte. So massive difference here, obviously, you know, one TB. So for the traffic, so here it was unlimited, here it was 200 gigabyte, 10 terabyte, so 10 TB. And finally, is it big enough friendly? Well, this one is, this one is, and this one definitely is not, you need uh, actual advanced skills for this one. So as you can see, the one that ticks all the boxes here is WPX.net. So it seems to be the obvious choice for any type of web project you may have in mind. Now again, if you're only starting up and you're not too focused on performances, then at $2.99, Hostinger is your best offer. And obviously, if you reach that level of success and you're getting a lot of traffic uh, to your website, then Lease Web is going to be the next step. So there you go, these are our top three hosting providers that we use personally as well uh, within our agency for all our online projects. And I hope you found this helpful. If so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more.